So before we get into the review on this knife, uh, this is the Vaquita. Uh, so now one of the things that is very impressive about NM Blade Works is uh, the name of the knife is actually uh, a porpoise uh, that is on the brink of extinction. I mean, probably or possibly uh, by the time you're watching this video, um, they could just be uh, totally gone. Uh, so uh, the last I knew there was a hundred of them. I just checked out a site uh, that they're looking to actually, they're still trying to save these, and there's uh, less than uh, 20. Uh, so there's uh, 20 of these animals left over. Uh, so the vaquita, uh, I'll show a picture here. So that's a vaquita, and then I will put it down at the bottom as well. But uh, so just wanted to start that off before we kind of get into things uh, for this knife here. Uh, so this is the Wee Vaquita by NM Blade Works. So let's get into that. So as a blade service, let's go over the specs and opinions on this Wee Vaquita uh, designed by NM Blade Works. It's a fixed blade neck knife. Uh, this is actually uh, one that also, uh, thank you very much to Wee uh, for providing this blade and also Stasa 23 and Zaurek 42 uh, for now coordinating the whole thing. Uh, so do appreciate being part of that pass around group. Uh, so my first impression on this knife as far as a buy, borrow, or avoid uh, really um, was a avoid. Um, I don't really have a lot of neck, neck knives, um, but then my opinion changed on it uh, as I got to experience the knife. Uh, but that's where I started from uh, for that. Uh, just, uh, just putting this around my neck. Uh, that chain was cold. Um, just the how close my fingers to that blade uh, was kind of unnerving for me. And then uh, just some of the things about it. Um, initially, uh, was not something that I was really uh, too keen on, uh, even for the, the size of the handle. Uh, just this point at the end that uh, digs into the palm of my hand. Uh, so those are the things that it was kind of uh, just taking out of the, the package and actually looking at it, um, my initial impression was to avoid it. But again, uh, that's the kind of things that changed a little bit on that. Uh, so let's go into that uh, and then we'll see uh, kind of that final outcome on it. So we're going to look at the hand sizing first off. Uh, so uh, impressively, uh, this is a three and a half inch uh, or three and a quarter inch uh, blade on this little neck knife here. So that's something that's very impressive for that. Uh, but we're going to look at the sizing for this. So adult women's hand. So where you're going to be holding that is going to really just come to that point there. And angle hold on that. Adult male. That angled hold on that one. So as you see, it's very small in hand uh, for that. Uh, so no, so some of the things, like, granted, now that's the no, kukri design uh, type of blade, but um, I almost think that like, up front, this should have been a troil, uh, where it's actually a sharpened blade. Uh, and I just, I just think that that would have, at least for me, make it you know, more functional. Um, I haven't cut myself on this yet, but that was the concern of it. Uh, so that's one of the things that I was looking at uh, for uh, the blade. Uh, so this one is uh, going to be uh, S35VN. Uh, so one of the things about this was really crazy. I was trying to look for the the markings on it. Uh, very few markings on the knife. Uh, and then it's actually, even the Wii logo uh, is extremely tiny. Just trying to get that actually focused on that. So that's the Wii logo. And then on the other end, you're going to have the NM Blade Works logo. And then, so I didn't know what steel this was initially, uh, but it's actually listed here. If we can get that to actually focus in. Right there. It's a really small and really and not obtrusive or showy, but S35VN. 
Uh, so that's where that's located uh, for that information. Uh, so S35BN, uh, as far as the steel goes, is going to be a little different on some of the scales. Uh, so for the corrosion resistance, it's going to be up in this upper end here. And then for hardness, uh, you're going to be looking at uh, basically about 75 percent tile in comparison to all the rest of this steels. And then for wear resistance, it's going to be um, in this area as well. And then in correlation with all that information, uh, you're going to have kind of the, the edge retention uh, for the blade. And that's going to be um, also in this upper area here. So above that 50 percent tile mark uh, for this blade. So the action for it, so you, it is a neck knife, uh, so you're going to have uh, the sheath here. That's what's going to be uh, something that you're going to be utilizing for that. Uh, I, I really couldn't get used to it as far as the the chain, so probably uh, the you know, more of a, a different uh, neck uh, chain or something else that would actually uh, work for this uh, might be better. Uh, than that, but a uh, very good sheath uh, for the blade. Uh, holds decently well. Slight bit of movement for it, um, but I don't have too much experience with neck knives. The only other one I have is the Minimalist, and we're going to bring that up as far as a comparison to this one as well. So we'll look at the, uh, the Minimalist for that. So that's going to be sheathed. And then we're going to look at the minimalist. Uh, so as you see on this one, I did convert it to a uh, belt knife. Uh, so there's actually for a uh, belt loop. And then so that's going to be the minimalist compared to uh, that Vikita. And then also major difference in actually the size. So just the blade, blade to blade. And then handle. So the handle itself uh, isn't too much uh, uh, larger uh, for the minimalist, but I mean, for when you're holding it, it just really falls into hand, uh, really has a firm grip to it. It just feels uh, much more uh, sturdy, safer. Don't have that blade right next to my finger, uh, but a lot of preferences. Uh, just the design on the uh, Vikita just really, really just is a great design. And I would actually really like to see this in a folding knife, personally. Uh, so if this was in a folding knife, I think I would pick it up uh, or be much more apt to pick it up uh, if in that style. So let's compare it to some of the other ones. And the reason why I brought this other one out here, and so this is another one that is going to be in the uh, three and a half or three and a quarter inch blade. So this is the CRKT. Uh, this one is uh, the Caligo. So if you can see there, as far as so the blade length is gonna be the same, even though this one is gonna be that neck knife, a lot shorter, a lot smaller, uh, and this one's gonna have a lot bigger handle for it for being a folder. Uh, but that's gonna be uh, that one there as far as that comparison. I have to be able to see that difference uh, for that end. So this one comes in uh, going to be at about a 1.68 uh, ounces. So we're going to be using the Lyman pull gauge. Uh, There's the uh, sharpness tester that I put together with the fidget spinner and the best media uh, test media. Uh, so we'll see kind of where this sits uh, for the weight or the pressure needed to actually sever that media. And then we'll kind of go from there. So 293. Uh, so that's actually kind of surprising uh, as far as that level. So 293. Yeah, so it's still the high end color area, um, but uh, really um, I sliced through um, a box 
uh, cardboard um, on two occasions uh, and then it just it really uh, does a great job with that probably the the sweep of the actual uh, blade itself uh, really helps that out a lot but I was actually expecting that to be uh, quite a bit uh, sharper than that um, but uh, still high in cutlery uh, so still uh, very good on that and then uh, we'll kind of finish out with some of the um, the final thoughts uh, for this knife here. So I'm utilizing the pocket, pocket microscope uh, I was able to get some uh, close-up pictures of the blade uh, also so I'll show that up on the screen here and then uh, it's really uh, a fairly nice edge on it uh, for the blade uh, and also for the tip of the knife it actually is a nice grind and I did actually even uh, look at this carbon fiber uh, so in looking at it under a microscope uh, it's really really well done uh, you actually don't have any abrasive, abrasive marks or any type of marring uh, on this carbon fiber so it is extremely smooth uh, the only thing under the microscope really is just the pattern of this carbon fiber that you can actually see but a very very uh, nice carbon fiber uh, for uh, this blade uh, so you know, as far as the the final thoughts on it so currently the price is about 108 to 10880 uh, with a MSRP of uh, 128 uh, for this blade so that's kind of where you're going to be sitting for that one uh, and then after having it for a little bit of time uh, i did grow to respect the blade and also for uh, what it offers as far as that uh, 3.25 uh, inch blade and then it does cut very well uh, just for myself uh, it's not really one uh, that i uh, really am drawn to so if this was in a folding knife uh, I think it would be uh, something that, uh, at least for myself, I would uh, be more uh, apt to pick up. Uh, but it still has that, that point uh, that kind of digs in. Uh, so for me, uh, it would end up as a borrow. Uh, but I've already been getting some comments through Instagram. There's few people saying that they just have to have the knife. So but for a lot of people, this is going to be uh, one to pick up. It's going to be one they're going to love and enjoy. Uh, so do buy it. Uh, before it uh, sells out uh, if that does happen so again that's going to be now uh, this one is the uh, we the we vaquita so going back to that initial statement on it so if you do want to go and check out uh, any way to help out on that again 20 uh, less than 20 uh, of that uh, that species still available uh, and then also even by the time that you're watching this i mean that could be less uh, could be zero uh, so uh, just something to think about for that uh, but check out the blade and then check out uh, nm blade works and then also uh, thank you again to we knives for providing this blade here so let me know what you think that's just some of the specs and some of the, my opinions on the knife so let me know in the comments as far as what you think and thanks for your time